A moment ago, we mentioned upgrades at Fort Dickerson, Augusta Quarry. Now, Fort Dickerson doesn't probably really look like a fort when you look at it, at least not the kind of thick walls and tall towers. But it is a fort, and it shows how the actual fighting in the Civil War wasn't really probably like the way you imagine it was. Fort Dickerson is an example of a Civil War earthen fort as soldiers dug and piled up dirt to protect themselves from gunfire. From this, they protected positions. They were able to look down at the Tennessee River. The fort's cannons and riflemen could then fire on Confederate soldiers approaching from the south. It also kept Confederates from taking that strategic overlook and shelling Fort Sanders, the namesake of that neighborhood. It was another earthen fort protecting what was then the northwestern edge of the city with Fort Sanders' deep trenches and tangling obstacles made from telegraph wire. The late November battle that was fought there, 1863, resembled really a World War I battle in Eastern Europe, according to the Knoxville History Project. Fort Dickerson itself was never assaulted. It's now part of the Urban Wilderness Trail, the battlefield loop covering two similar gun positions on nearby hills. It also looks over what is now Augusta Quarry, once a rock quarry, now a popular place to swim, but just not this summer. You gotta wait till next summer. 